constant staring at the screen, computer, your phone can actually cause your eyes to be darker than you'd want them to be, your under eyes that is. Hello everyone, welcome to Weekdays with Chichi Beauty. It's been a while, but guess what? We are back here and we are gonna talk about skincare today. I think this is one of the best way to get back into dealing with you, know, you all and sharing skincare remedies and talking about everything that have to do with facial to kickstart our weekdays with Chichi Beauty. We have been missing in action, but we wanna get this back and run up and running. So we are gonna talk about dark on the eye circles today. Who on the chat watching now struggle with dark on the eye circles? Sometimes you find it much darker than you'd want it to be. Sometimes they disappear and sometimes they come right back. Whatever the situation is, we have some remedies, we have some ingredients some natural ingredients that you can use to get rid of your dark on the eye circles. Now what causes dark on the eye circles? Many factors contribute to dark on the eye circles. Sometimes people are fatigued. Fatigue meaning you're tired, you know, just a lot of things that is going on that could actually cause your under eyes to be a little darker. It also co comes from age. As we age, everything tends to start to shut down, including circulation. Now, with age come dark under eye circles, with age come puffy eyes, with age also comes eye bags. Another thing that caused dark under eye circles is the one I mentioned as soon as I started the show, which is eye strain. A lot of people now are straining their eyes just to watch the computer, their phone, in excess lighting, because lighting is everywhere these days. All of that contribute to dark on the eye circles. Now here comes a big one. This is allergy. Allergy, and I'm telling you, this is the time of the year when it is really, really crazy. Like the allergy, the pollen is just eye. People are sniffing, and for those of you who struggle with allergies, you know that this time of the year is just not for you. This, with the constant irritation of the eyes, could cause your under eyes to be darker than you'd want it to be. Now, another thing, and this is also a major one that causes your under eyes to be dark, is genetics. Genetics, okay? So if you know, take a look at your grandparents, you might notice that they have dark under eye circles. If you take a look at your parents, you might notice that they have dark under eye circles. And then when you get to a certain age, you start to look at yourself and you notice you have dark under eye circles. That is also genetics, okay? So that is what genetics is. It play a vital role in your dark under eye circles. Now we have one more to talk about that actually causes dark under eye circles. And a lot of us have this one and we really do not understand or we really don't know that this is the reason why we're having dark under eye circles. That is dehydration dehydration some people walking around very very much dehydrated without knowing okay water 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 we need to hydrate our body now you can actually find hydration for your under eyes from you know vegetables like cucumber but you can actually apply it topically and you can internally drink as much water as you can to keep your under eyes looking good so here are some of the other things that causes dark under eye circles heavy dr every drinking and smoking if you smoke that could also happen you can find that you you know notice the under eyes not looking good stress that is one of the biggies stress when i stress i'm telling you i look like yeah stress 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 and also guys lack of sleep when you don't get enough sleep that can happen like you're up all night working on a project 
the next day take a look at your under eyes you might just notice that it is dark that tend to happen to me a lot okay so we're gonna address this today and we're gonna share some natural remedies with you that you can use now there are many different before we get any further I need to take the time to do some shout out which we normally do on our live show Margaret was first um, regular on the show we have Mary we have Anne proper child lioness and we also have juliana hello we have irene we have diana karen and um franny and we also have i guess we have a two karen karen um Mothersill, and we also have um sharon mills uh, did i miss that i think it just went sir sharon morris roxy and sunday b so right now hello sunday b welcome you are new feel free to take part in the live chat today. And if you are new here, a warm welcome to you. This is Weekdays with Chicha Beauty. We kickstart this series about um, two months ago. We ran it for a month and then, you know, we kind of slowed things down. We want to start it back up. Right now we are running it for the month of, um, where are we now? This is, uh, we're now in June. Yes, we're running it for the month of June every Thursday. We wanted to do it every Tuesday, but now we're putting it just for the month of June every Tuesday at 12 Thursday, Thursday uh, still saying Tuesday. Every Thursday at 12 noon, we're gonna have this live. Now for this live, we're sharing different topics, not necessarily skincare. So if you have an idea for the show, you wanna be on the show, you can share it You know, with us, send us an email at uh, chichibeauty at gmail.com and you know just share your thoughts and let us know why you want to be on the, the the show and if you have an idea now if you're watching today and you have dark on the eye circles and you want to be on the show right now you can be on the show today you can share your dark on the eye circle story with us or you can actually show us live your dark on the eyes if you want to be on the show right now to share or to show your dark on the eye circles then just say so in the comment and we will send you the link right away so you can just click on and come on the live feed so if you are willing it's open for you to be on the live show right now and also if you have a, a story if you have used any of my remedies for your dark on the eye circles and it is working for you would like you to comment so comment 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 just feel free to share comment and interact so anyone want to be on the show today to talk about dark on the eye circles you can just put it in the comment box that you need to be on the show or just send an email right away to chichibuti at gmail.com chichibuti at gmail.com you will get the link to be on the show you have to have a link so you have to get the link from me. So send your email right now, chichibuti at gmail.com, and we'll send the link right over to you. All right, so with that said, um, Naz, N-D-A-G-I-R, N -D -A -G -I -R, I'm also here in the class, and that is the problem I'm having right now. So people are having issues with dark on the eye circles, and that's why we choose that topic today, because we noticed that it's very common and every single show that i do people are asking for remedies for dark on the eye circle so we are gonna address that and we're gonna address it right now so remember if you want to be on the show you want to talk about your dark on the eye circles just send the email to chichibuti at gmail.com and we will send you the link right away now let's take a comment and then we are gonna move on with the remedies now let's talk to um roxy i tried the holy grail parsley a few weeks ago i saw some improvement i think i just need to get more rest and pick up the parsley regime again right now and yes you definitely rest and that is why i, I went through all of the you know the reason why you might be having dark on the eye circles because this is not only from you know you not taking care of yourself but it is could come from genetics smoking and all of that that we went to now i am the you know um i could actually advocate for the parsley that is what i personally believe in that is what has changed my under eyes from dark looking age looking 
under eyes to more clearer looking under eyes and if you come on my channel watch my videos especially those that i talk about dark under eye circles and you will notice the transformation there's nothing that i do but use the natural remedies under my eyes however i tend to do it religiously sometimes i take a break and when i notice it coming back then i definitely go back and use the remedy now it's not going to clear the dark on the eyes all gone forever never ever coming back remedies don't work like that okay however if you keep treating it and taking care of it it will keep it at bay most time when you have dark on the eye circles you can treat it but it will come back now right before we jump in the natural remedies let's just talk about a few things that people are actually doing out there to clear the dark on the eyes and this is you know like people that want to do something medically chemical peel if you are familiar with chemical peel people are using the chemical peel to clear the dark on the eye circles this is something that you have to go get done by the professionals okay we on this channel we have our little homemade chemical peel which i don't you know suggest that you use it for your dark on the eye circles however if you have the funds you can go get you clear up your dark on the eye circles professionally by getting a chemical peel another thing that people are doing to ease the dark on the eye circles is that they are using laser treatment and laser treatment tend to be very very out there these days okay and price wise it's you know maybe start from like a hundred and twenty dollars for one treatment we're talking about us i live in the us so i'll quote us dollars now you just have to just do the math for that and people are going and get it done now when you go get a chemical peel it's going to last for a few months the dark circle might come back when you go and get a laser the dark circles might come back you do get a treatment like every month to get to control the dark on the eye circles another thing that people are using is fat removal fat removal not only get rid of the dark circles but it also get rid of the eye bags and the puffy eyes especially for those people with severe they're you know going to the professional and they get it a little needle stick in suck out all of that fat and shrink those eye bags those are professionally done and can be done if you're all up to that now if you are like me and you like to do your natural remedies then this show is for you but we definitely have to share information that you can actually get other things done also like the the laser the chemical peel and the fat removal now anyone here have ever tried any of those remedies or treatment that is go ahead and comment now sharon i'm allergic to aloe vera gel it's itch my face what else can i use and i'm gonna answer this um um question because is you're not alone now for me aloe vera gel also itches my skin however when i take the time this is a trick for you fresh aloe vera gel and i was going to bring a piece of aloe right here today but time catch up on me now when you have the fresh aloe vera gel fresh aloe vera leaf the extraction of the gel is very, very vital. When you, This is what I do for myself for it not to itch me, right? When I extract that gel, I rinse it off in water. Just rinse it off because what is really itching you is the, the, the stain from the leaf, that green stain that is running when you cut that aloe vera, that is what is itching. So when you extract that gel, if you rinse it off, I will run the pipe over it and then you have that fresh gel, give that a chance. I do that and that does not irritate my skin at all. So try and see what you can do. And if it's still, you know, itches your skin, then you might need to use a something else. But that's what I work with for myself. Now, the fact that you mentioned aloe vera, we're going to talk about it because it is one of the seven natural ingredients that I have that can help to get rid of dark on the eye circles the reason aloe vera works is that it has many properties and also it is a very gentle under the eyes let's talk about the under eyes um really quick i, I just run into the ingredient but let me give you a little quick thing um she's um back tv email chichi all right so whoever want to be on the show right now email chichi let me put it back right really really quick 
and this is the link chichibuti at gmail.com if you email right now you will get the link so you can be on the show today to show your dog on the eye circle to share a remedy or even just to talk about eye bags or puffy eyes send for the link at chichibuti at gmail.com as soon as you click on i will know because your information will just pop up on my below my screen and i will know that you are ready for the show all right so first and foremost if you want the best result from these remedies that I'm going to share with you today, you will need to clean your under eyes on a regular. How do you clean your under eyes? Personally, for me, this is what works for me. I remove all my makeup. I wear makeup. If you don't wear makeup, you still have to clean your under eyes. I use a wash rug in the shower and I, you know, just put my finger in it like that and I clean my under eyes, not as fast as I'm showing here up and down windshield wiper and then i wash my face with a good facial cleanser and then my under eyes is clean when you pay attention to your under eyes by cleaning it whatever these remedies are will work much better for the under eyes because the skin is clean and it is able to absorb all of that good nutrients that you're gonna be um, applying to your under eyes. Now, if you wanna see a full detailed video on how to clean and care for your under eyes, then check out my 25 days skincare challenge. The link is below in the description. Go on to pay, um, um, video number two and you will see how I share how to really take care of your eyes to get rid of the lines under the eyes the eye bags the puffy eyes and also the dark on the eyes circles so now that we know how to take care of the eyes we're gonna go into talking about the remedies now the first one if you're watching and you are I, I cannot translate this I wish I could translated right now but i hope you're saying something good right there i think you are because i recognize the writing you're always on but welcome to the live show if, um sharon chichi is there um is there more than one grapeseed oil reason why i asked you is because i went to the food store and i see grapeseed oil but it's for cooking purpose so can it be used on the face and body and that is actually a very, very, very good question. Oh, I thought I have my grapeseed oil here, but this is avocado. Anything that, any oil that I use on my face, like the grapeseed oil, the avocado oil, the coconut oil, all of the oils that I personally use are for human consumption, meaning I buy the one that you cook with to use on my skin. That is what I use. Now, you might find grapeseed oil out there that are listed as grapeseed oil for um, using topically on the skin. Those are normally mixed with something else. So those are not the one that you go for if you're looking for a natural, natural, okay? Go for the cooking one. The same one that you buy in the grocery store to cook is the same one you use on the skin. That is what I use. The only oil that you don't buy that is for consumption are those that are really not for like rosehip oil and like cacao oil. Those are definitely oils for the skin. But if it's a carrier oil that is good to cook with, it's the one you use. When I mentioned vegetable oil, use your vegetable oil, the one you buy to do the fried chicken, that is the one you use on the skin. The coconut oil, the one you buy is the one that you use to cook with okay the grapeseed oil the one you use to cook with the olive oil the one you use to cook with that is the one that you use and that's what makes it even better okay that is also the one that contains little to no form of a preservative okay or any form of a chemical some oils that are made for you know cosmetic purposes okay so that is the word i was looking for cosmetic grade oil only oils that is not edible you need to buy cosmetic grade but if you're using an oil any other oil make sure that you buy the oil that you cook with so when you go and you get your grapeseed oil in the grocery store pour out a little in a separate bottle put it where you have your cosmetic and put the rest in the kitchen to do your cooking with that is what i do the honest truth is i do a live show i do shows every day so i would buy just for the show but if i'm cooking something and i feel to grab it and pour a little in it that is what i am gonna be using all right so 
that is grapeseed oil. We're going to talk more about grapeseed oil. I'm trying to take some questions too. Um, if you have a question, go ahead and comment. We're talking about dark on the eye circles. Now, the first, um, now what would you recommend as a good facial cleanser? I like to use a natural, uh, natural as product possible. Okay. The video that I shared, or did I share it already? Yes. The video that was posted this morning, that is a natural facial cleanser. Okay. It's a three ingredient facial cleanser. And this facial cleanser is good for getting rid of hyperpigmentation on the skin. If you didn't watch today's video, you need to watch it. I love that, okay? I love that remedy. It works like a charm. Another thing I like about it is that you can use it on your neck and your decollete. You have dark neck, you use that. And it's a cleanser that you can choose to use every day. So check out that video. We're using stuff like potato and some other skin brightening ingredient in it in liquid form you pour some in your and you rub it you rub your face and you that one in particular you can also rub it under your eyes to get rid of the dark on the eyes i also have another cleanser that i'm very very proud of on my channel i think i have about three those are my dry cleanser those are cleanser that i mix with like oatmeal and um flax seed powder and i mix those up and you can take it wherever you want to take it to all you need to do, add to it is water those are really good and people go crazy about those on my channel i hope i remember i'll put the link to those when i'm done with the video okay now those are dry remedies you can add milk you can add green tea you can add coffee and you can just cleanse the face really good if you have large pores if you have pigmentation on the skin if you're just looking for a natural Natural glow those cleanser cleanser works and those are the ones that I personally use as my natural cleanser to keep my skin looking good all right so we are moving on to aloe vera gel now aloe vera gel downright is one of the most popular natural ingredients for pigmentation on the skin on a whole not only on the under eyes but your face your neck and all over why is this so it contains vitamin c and vitamin c is this one antioxidant that clears skin of hyperpigmentation now how do you prepare the aloe vera to get rid of your dark under eye circles many different ways and we have a lot of those on this channel cut that gel out like i shared with you you can just place that gel under your eyes just like that a nice slice fresh as it gets you can take that fresh gel rub under your eyes or you can mix it with other ingredients like we share on our channel yesterday i post a remedy for dark under eye circles the reason why you actually get that remedy yesterday because i was like very tired like really really tired i wasn't getting enough sleep over the few days not because i'm stressed or anything i'm very very happy just doing things that keep me up and i feel like my under eyes was looking a little age i looking like they need some attention so i reach for my regular remedy which is the good old parsley and i whip it up with some other ingredient and while i was doing that i just shared that video with you so if you're looking for a new parsley remedy for the dark on the eye circles go ahead and watch that video now we're we're talking about aloe vera gel today aloe vera gel sorry guys aloe vera gel is um Aloe vera gel, as I said, is a great ingredient, a great natural ingredient to use for your dark on the eye circle. If you have a question, go ahead and ask the question right now because we're going to move on. And while you're here, for those of you who are watching, I'm going to give you a really quick remedy and you can take this down. You can write it down if you want. That can help with your dark on the eye circles and puffy eyes. You need some milk, okay? For my vegan subscriber, the best milk is the soy milk for this recipe. All others, regular raw milk. Milk that you buy to drink with your cereal. That is the milk we're talking about. And if you don't have regular milk and you have milk powder, it can work for this remedy. So what you need is a, a 
well you can make a lot or you can make a little bit or you can double up on the ingredients list that i'm giving you but you're going to start out with a quarter cup of milk whatever milk you choose whether it is soy milk or regular milk you're going to get some coconut oil and i think i have my coconut oil bottle right here coconut oil is a little sleepy today this temperature is falling all right so you're going to get some coconut oil and you're going to use one tablespoon of the coconut oil so you have a quarter cup of milk a tablespoon of coconut oil why coconut oil because coconut oil is one of one of the better oil to use for dark under eye circles it hydrates and a lot that moisture in the skin the next oil that you're gonna use is some sweet almond oil and I didn't bring that today it's sweet almond oil and you're also gonna use one tablespoon of the sweet almond oil if you have a blender or you have a whisk you're gonna whisk all of that together. This is a really good remedy for puffy eyes and eye bags and for tired eyes and also when used on a regular for dark under eye circles. So it's almond oil, coconut oil, and some milk. Quarter cup of milk, one tablespoon um, almond oil, one tablespoon of coconut oil. Blend or whisk and what you're gonna do once that is done you're going to take some cotton pads and you're going to soak the cotton pads in the solution and you're going to just place it over your eyes okay place it over your eyes relax with it for a while especially especially if you find that you have tired eyes you're going to do this place it over it leave it for 30 minutes and then you just rinse off works like a charm if you wake up one morning you find your eyes a little swollen this remedy is for you if you notice that you're seeing wrinkles under the eyes this remedy is for you if you are really tired from watching your computer screen this remedy is for you really really good and amazing for clearing hyperpigmentation all right so let's get back to some questions and then we're going to move on with our seven natural ingredients seven natural remedies that you can use to get rid of dark under eye circles i use flaxseed liquid to watch my face too and that is also good flaxseed is amazing loaded with protein and this is also great for exfoliating the skin now we have um jitanjali please um tell best oil for stubborn um freckles most likely on the face the two best oil for hyperpigmentation is coconut oil and um sweet almond oil those are the two best oil and that is why we're using them with the milk for pigmentation so if you try those two oils and also vitamin c vitamin c is amazing whether you buy the powder or you use the natural form like the orange peel or the lemon peel preferably dry blend and then you use that mixture um clear skin um pigmentation freckles and even mole and wall um natty pie is that okay to use um on the skin not sure what you're asking about if is the mixture i just gave for your under eyes is also perfect for your face okay perfect to wash your face with okay so definitely i hope that is the question now we also have shea seed can can use in place of flaxseed yes 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 now let's be um clear here the chia seeds are a little harder than the flax seed flax seeds are softer than the chia seeds and that is why most of the time when i'm making like facial scrub i reach for the flax seed because it's a little softer okay if you're using the chia seed you need to blend 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 give it a few more you know pulls in before you use because it is a little rougher and it could be more irritating to the skin the flaxseed is just gonna blend out powder form and it is good to go if you're just joining us we are talking about dark on the eye circles seven remedies that you can use to clear the dark on the eye circles guys i'm sweating today temperature is really up i have a little fan here that i'm using but i'm not gonna show it because people are gonna be like where did you get that where can i get that so i hope it's not making too much noise right now trying to cool me down all right let's talk about some other remedies for under eyes if you're just joining we're sharing remedies that you can use to clear your dark under eye circles what we did at the top of the hours we share some procedure that you can actually go and get done on a professional level and when all else fail 
come and try some of the natural remedies. The first one we talked about was um, aloe vera gel. Now let's talk a little bit about potato. Potato works like a charm for raw potato that is, okay? And also don't go buy a frozen bag of potato and use, yes you can use, but it's always better when it's a little fresh, fresh and cold potato, white potato that is not the sweet potato. They are two different type of potato. You need the ones that people call Irish potato or white potato or Idaho potato or, you know, potato, not the Yukon either. We need just the white potato, all right? So how do you use that potato to clear pigmentation under the eyes, which is dark circles? You use it chill, just peel it, slice it nice, put it in the refrigerator and then take it out and use under your eyes or mix it with other ingredients like I do. I mix that potato, I mix it with the parsley, I mix it with milk and it do work. What happened with the potato is that when it is chilled, the catecholase is released and that is what you need for your under eyes. If you're just joining, you have a question for dark under eye circles, feel free to comment and share and if you have a remedy that you are using and it is working for you go ahead and comment if you want to be on the show today you're watching you feel like showing your under eyes come on over just send your email to chichibuti at gmail.com and we will bring you on the show we're looking for comments so i don't miss any comments so if you're watching feel free to comment and participate in the show all right, so we are moving on. Let's talk about the parsley since we mentioned it. For me, the parsley, which is rich in chlorophyll, is also rich in vitamin C, and you can choose to do your research on the parsley. The parsley has worked really, really well on the skin. It also have a bit of a antibacterial properties, which makes it good for your skin overall. Now, how do you prepare this parsley? You have different type of parsley. They all have the same properties, whether it is the curly parsley, the flat leaf parsley, and what other kind, I don't even know, but I just go and whatever is available, once it's parsley, that is what I use. Now, parsley does not have a lot of juice in it, so I like to add liquid to it when I'm blending. If not, you just have to really crush that parsley to get a little, little bit of a juice. What I do with that parsley, I mix, blend it with like some, you know, um, rose water and blend well, and then you strain that off. That parsley juice can use directly over your eyes, or you can mix it with other ingredients. You can mix it with potato juice, which is really effective for dark on the eye circles. Go and check the video out that I post. And we have a wide variety. You can mix that parsley with some Vaseline. You get that juice from the parsley. You get some Vaseline. And don't question me on Vaseline right now. You don't want to use Vaseline. Go ahead and use some shea butter with it. And you just whisk it up or blend it up. Make it form a cream and use that under your eyes. I have an amazing cream that is going to come your way probably day after tomorrow or so that you can use at night under your eyes. I've been using it, amazing. I'm gonna share the recipe, make about maybe two days from now. It still needs to be edited, so look out for that. But definitely mix that parsley. And if you're watching and you have tried any of my parsley remedy, comment, 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 and let me hear from you. I use it religiously, I swear by it. That is what really changed my life when it comes onto my dark on the eye circles. And that's why I preach about it so much, okay? It's good, it's versatile, mix it with some olive vera gel, get a blender, put some olive vera gel and some parsley leaf, a little bit of a rose water, blend that, strain it off, put it in a Ziploc bag, put some cotton pads in it and just use it for 30 minutes and then you rinse that off. Now, the good old remedy, another remedy, is the cucumber never ever fail cucumber is still very much good for dark on the eye circles puffy eyes and eye bags green tea is another amazing ingredient that you can use for dark on the eye circles someone just meant i use green tea with the parsley as you suggest that is also an amazing mixture an amazing combination for dark on the eye circles 
Hello, Magdalene. Welcome to the live. We also have Jill. Welcome. We have Margaret, which I um, mentioned earlier. Welcome to the live. I noticed you all just coming on. Hi, Key Washington. How are you? Welcome to our live. Grace, what is your website? Um, my website is um, chichibuti at gmail chichibuti.com is the website let me put it up for you to see that's the website if you go on the website you can get my 25 days skincare challenge print out 28 days of you know taking care of your skin you have a daily printout that you can follow you can also find a very good chemical peel homemade chemical peel recipe on the, the website you can also find a good overnight mask on the website you can also find a good remedy for dark on the eye circles on the website so check it out chichibuti.com for recipes and other things that you might not find on the youtube platform so go and check out the website all right so we are moving on if you're just joining we are talking about on the eye circles dark on the eye circles and we're adding eye bags natural remedies that you can use to clear these things up aloe vera gel um, potato raw potato that is and now we're talking about parsley we also share a quick recipe for you which we use a quarter cup of milk um one tablespoon of almond oil one tablespoon of coconut oil you blend that together and here is the bonus to that if you like the parsley leaves you can actually drop that parsley leaf in the mixture that i just share blend it up strain it off and use it for your dog on the eye circles now um Sharon, thank you for your wonderful information. You are the best, and thank you for that. Now, who is here for the first time? If you're here for the first time, comment, comment, comment. And I'm seeing that burger. Okay, that is that that look like a, a bagel. That bagel is just loaded with all the goodies. T. Um, Samlin, welcome to our live. Welcome to our channel. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, look below the video. You're going to see the word subscribe. Click on it and you will be subscribed and come back and share some, you know, um, findings with uh, Diana. I'm currently using, oh, I totally forget the turmeric. It's not on the list today, but it is also an amazing natural ingredient that you can use for dark circles. You can make a paste, put it under that eyes and leave it on for 30 minutes and you know rinse it off you can mix the turmeric with some milk and put it under the eyes rinse it off before the show is over we're going to talk about some leave on remedies for your dark on the eye circle so do not click off continue watching for the leave on remedies most of these natural remedies like the aloe vera the potato and the parsley are what you're going to wear on for 30 minutes and then you take it off and apply the leave on treatment so wait for the leave on treatment now diana is using turmeric with green tea for one hour each day and i also use green tea on the eyes for 20 minutes i also try parsley recipe dark on the eyes almost gone now take a look at the screen guys this person diana is using my remedies and i like these comments because sometimes when i come on and i'm like i use this and this work for me a lot of you are still skeptical but when the subscribers actually use and share then you'd be more you know believable because some people think that i don't have dark on the eye circles or i've never had it like girl get a different model why are you saying that you have dark on the eye circles look you don't have but the honest truth is because i take care and use these remedies and i've been doing this for a while now and this is the result this is the result if you find a commercial out there and they are talking about hair care okay if they're sharing hair care they're not going to use a model that the hair is not looking right after using the product they're using a model that the hair do look nice okay now if i'm on here and i'm sharing all these remedies and mine is not taken care of then something is wrong okay i feel like i am the best person the best person to advertise my remedies especially my dark on the eyes because watch some of my old videos for all of you new subscribers go back two three years and watch some of my older videos and then when you come back and this you will see the big difference only if you see the old me you will know that these things are working on my skin so i suggest that you all try to watch some of the old videos and some of those videos are amazing okay those are the days when there was no 
you know, no um, tweaking or anything like that. You could just make a video and you could be really real. You could say what you want to say nowadays because of, you know, everything that is going on in the YouTube world. Sometimes we hesitate to be just raw and just laid out like that. But watch some of those old videos. Those recipe works and they are still very much working today let's take a question hi everyone i wonder if i'm missing out not seeing any post didn't even know you would be on live i don't know if if you are not seeing the post what you need to do and this happened from time to time especially when the system update you need to click on the notification bell if you're still click on on it click on it to click off and then click right back on. In that way, you will start to see the notification again. If you subscribe and you don't get the notification, just click on the, the, the bell icon and that, that means you click off of it. And then when you click back on, it start all over afresh so you could see the icon the system works like that sometimes don't send the notification out and i think that's what happened today now you are the best person for true because watch the old videos and you look great thank you so much for that okay so what else we have diana i watch the old videos and i can attest to what you are saying about dark on the eyes thank you so much for your comment and that's why i always send people back to the old videos to see the big difference and no i didn't get it laser no i didn't use chemical peel the only chemical peel i use is the one that i make and share with you all on this channel and i didn't go get any form of a you know fat reduction from under my eyes this is natural this is 100 percent the way my under eyes look yes i'm wearing makeup today but most of you already know what i look like without it in my many videos all right so if you're just joining what did you miss a recipe for dark under eye circles the whole shabam of how to clean under your eyes and also how to get your eyes to look good. We also share the remedies. Seven, we're sharing aloe vera, potato, parsley, and um, cucumber. We share some oil, coconut oil, and sweet almond oil. Now we're gonna talk about another oil that I recent, I just, well, not just, probably about seven months or so that I'm using this particular oil, which I share with you all, and that is the kiwi oil. Kiwi have more vitamin C than orange. Most people are not aware of that. It's a stronger form of a vitamin C. And that is what makes this kiwi oil good for dark on the eye circles. Now, if you can get your hands on that kiwi oil, it also have antibacterial properties, which makes it an anti-inflammatory properties, which makes it also good for acne prone skin, for pimples on the skin, you name it. Little scratch, little scraping on the skin, little blackhead, little bump that just popped up the kiwi oil will take care of that but when it comes on to your under eyes it's an oil that is really really good and you can just take a little q-tip you can dip it in and just dab it under the eyes rich in vitamin c good for dark under eye circles you can actually take a few drops of that kiwi oil add it to that coconut oil and use it on as a leave on remedy for your under eyes at night one part um a tablespoon of coconut oil to about five drops of that kiwi oil blend that up and dab it on under your eyes amazing and as i said i recently run about seven months some of you might tell me that is more than seven months that i've been sharing the kiwi eye but somewhere along the line i probably have it a little longer that i discovered the kiwi i love it Two of my new found oil that works like a charm on the skin is the kiwi oil and the, and the cucumber seed oil. They, I use them for different purposes. Those two can actually mix together. Now, if you don't have the kiwi oil, do not sweat it. You don't have to run and, you know, get it but if you can get it and use it for your under eyes it makes a big difference and you can mix it with other oils i have the link i think below in the description box not endorsing any brand kiwi oil is kiwi oil just make sure that is 100 pure kiwi oil works like a charm and guess what 
we don't use this a lot on this channel and the reason why i don't use the fresh kiwi is because some people don't have access to the fresh kiwi but if you have fresh kiwi just like the cucumber you can slice that fresh kiwi make sure that is chill and place it under your eyes amazing for puffy eyes and eye bags we don't make the videos because most people depending on where you live you might not have the kiwi but now you know if you have the kiwi slice it like the cucumber place it in the refrigerator let it chill and put it under your eyes puffy eyes tired eyes wrinkle under the eyes dark on the eye circles this will help now if you're gonna make that kiwi juice to use under your eyes you will have to strain it because the fine seed in that kiwi you don't want it to get in your eyes so if you blend that kiwi um had some liquid to it like some rose water strain it with like a cheesecloth and then soak those ipads in it and put it under your eyes really really good i'm challenging you once you have the kiwi give it a try give it a try give it a try rich in vitamin c as i said more vitamin c than orange juice if you have a question comment 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 now i have another quick recipe and this could be either the kiwi or a little bit of an orange juice, okay? Either the kiwi juice or a little orange juice. Works like a charm. If you have glycerin, and nowadays I'm gonna say glycerin because a lot of people have glycerin and get confused because I always talk about vegetable glycerin. I use vegetable glycerin because it's natural, okay? If you have the other glycerin, which is just labeled glycerin, it's just as good, okay? Now, I don't wanna get into full details why I personally use vegetable glycerin. If you have vegetable glycerin, go for it. It's the one I like. But if you have the regular glycerin, use it. A little bit of an orange juice with a little bit of a glycerin soak up that cotton pad put it under your eyes or use a q-tip and put it under your eyes will help with puffy eyes will help to shrink those eye bags and it will also help to get rid of the dark on the eye circles either the kiwi juice are the orange juice with a little glycerin and the reason why we're sharing this because it's a quick fix a quick fix if you wake up one morning your eyes is like can't open like mm -hmm. and when you look that happened to me a lot okay when you look you see the bag right there when I'm tired and I'm trying to squeeze it for you to see you know you get a little bag under there this is it a little bit of a kiwi juice or a little bit of an orange juice with some glycerin and Put it on the there leave it on for about 20 minutes or so and you're on your way to a nicer wide more wide awake looking eyes okay all right so if you're just joining you have any question about dark on the eye circles go ahead and comment midday show are on thursday for the month of june so come next thursday we're gonna be on the following thursday we're gonna be on we're not only talking about skincare we're going back to having our guests we're going back to you know talking about you know family issues current affairs you name it that is what we're going to talk about so come prepare put it on your calendar that we're going to be on next thursday at 12 noon with weekdays with chichi next thursday i'm open it's going to be a good show because we're going to have guests okay we're going to have live people on the show you know talking and going back to the good old weekdays with a chichi beauty so be prepared for that and happy new month if you are a june baby happy happy june month happy birthday when it comes this month is like my daddy um birth month so gemini i think is gemini season you're gemini you're watching hello 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 i'm not i'm pisces but i don't even know if pisces and gemini mix well all right but that's an inside joke anyway guys um we're back talking about getting rid of dark on the eye circles if you have a question comment right now the comment box is right there that is where you place the comment and if you have an idea for our show send us an email um to chitty beauty at gmail now juliana i told my big sister about the parsley and potato for black under eyes and she loved it she seeks she's seen great result thanks and thank you for that comment now we have a playlist guys we have a playlist with all our videos for dog on the eye circles we're gonna put the playlist under the video when it is done but we have a playlist where you can go and you can find 
all the remedies, the parsley and the tomato. You can find the cucumber and the basil. You can find a wide variety of really, really, really good recipe for dark on the ice circles. I made that playlist because I want you all to find it. And you can search through the list and find a remedy that you have all of the ingredients, okay? Once you have all of the ingredients, then you try it and you can play. You gotta give it a time chance to work. Whatever you're trying, try it for at least two to three weeks, okay? Okay? because if you just try it once you might not get the result that you should be getting so try for about a week and then come back and when you get tired of using one you should switch to another one but you got to make sure that it is working most of these remedies really work but it takes dedication okay so dedication and clear on the eyes make up your mind what do you want you want clear eyes or you just want to keep looking at the remedies and be like oh i'm gonna try that one day you should try you should try these remedies all right so we are moving on if you are just joining this is weekdays with chichi beauty um i made done you are the best thank you for that and if you are new to be this with chichi beauty we are gonna be on for the month of june every thursday every thursday at 12 noon we're gonna be on for the month of june we also have our sunday show and that is 4 30 um eastern standard time 4 30 p.m eastern standard time and that is on every sunday now what did you miss for this show today you miss the remedies, seven remedies, seven natural remedies that you can use to clear dark on the eye circles. We have aloe vera gel. We have potato, which is raw potato. We have parsley. We have kiwi oil. We have cucumber. We have almond oil. We also have coconut oil. And one that I didn't mention that is on this list is tomato. And tomato contain lipopene. And lipopene help with circulation now tomato could sting okay so when you're using your tomato remedies for your dog on the ice circle dilute it with something that acid in the tomato is very very strong but it works i suggest that you mix that tomato with a little bit of a milk or you can take that tomato juice mix it up with some parsley you can also mix that tomato juice with some raw potato you can mix that tomato juice with a little bit of uh rose water to soften it a bit and then you use it soak it up just the same got to make sure your eyes are closed because it's good by little sting if not make your half a moon with your pad whatever you're using make it in an half a moon and place it under the eyes like this especially the tomato do not let it get in your eyes all right but it works it clear the skin of pigmentation and it is good for dark on the eye circles now here is a bonus if you're watching and you're new to the channel some people already know this bonus that i'm going to share now here is a bonus for you these are some of the um you know little tips and tricks that we use that we don't really share unless you do our our series like our 25 day skincare challenge but since we're talking about on the eyes we're gonna give you this little bonus trick now if you have eye bags puffy eyes and if you watch our show on a regular you already know this but if you have eye bags and puffy eyes and dark on the eye circles what you need along with the remedies is circulation what you need along with the remedies is a circulation. Now, how do you get circulation, blood flow under the eyes? We don't like to use the B word much on the show because sometimes it trigger the system, but that's why we're sticking with circulation. And you guys should you know, really know what the circulation is, what we mean when we are you know, saying circulation. Now, how do you get the circulation under the eyes? You get this by massaging your under eyes. Note that you not only massage your entire face, but you can take special care of massaging your under eyes. Clean your under eyes every day. And if you can, twice per day. Very, 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 very vital for the skin under your eyes to be clean. Now, your under eyes is the most delicate area on the face. The skin is very, very thin. And that is the reason why when the veins are all like, you know, um, 
when when you have poor circulation that is why you can see the darkness that the skin is not really dark guys to be honest the skin is not dark the darkness is coming from the veins that are under there that need to be moving flowing you know the b word flow okay so what you need to do is to take your clean the areas take your two fingers like this and, and they do have other things you can use. And you're going to just do it like this. This is one of the cheapest way to get circulation. And you're going to patter, patter, patter under the eye. Gentle tapping under your eyes. And you can do this for about three minutes. If you can do this every day, for those of you, 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 with that eye bag looking at you, guess what? You have nothing to lose if you do this. Just patter, 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 patter every day. Clean the ears under your eyes. Do that right after you use your cream or right after you use your serum or right after you use your homemade remedy that you leave on for 30 minutes it doesn't matter if you do it at that time yes or no but i was looking for a tool that i have i probably leave it in my bathroom or something that i would share so do that and they also have some small tools that can do the same thing by massaging the on the eyes but the finger works like a charm it costs you nothing you don't have to spend a dime you have your two fingers all you do you clean your under eyes and you just pat it and just keep it closed pat it pat it pat it once a day at least once a day that is a beauty secret and that is a beauty tip that maybe i own this year with my diarded subscribers and for you now that are joining you can you know go ahead and do that that is the best way Okay, because when this when it's flowing, when circulation is happening, it's also keep the under eyes looking younger and fresher. Works like a charm. So if you massage your face on a regular, you do the massaging for the face, take that special two minutes to massage your under eyes separately. I do look at my under eyes. And I'm very, very tired. Okay. You probably look you can see a little small line right under there later i'm just gonna get it out by massaging okay and if you notice no big puffiness or anything like that is what i do religiously i don't go get no treatment done no nothing done i just use my two fingers and clean under my under eyes and that is why it looked like it if i wasn't doing that right now today to be honest today my face would look like i would have a lot of wrinkles and eye bags because i am tired i'm sleepy and don't ask me why i'm so sleepy these days and tired these days i'm working okay i am working so anyway guys i it's good it was good um to have you all here what did you miss if you're just joining we're talking about getting rid of dark on the eye circles eye bags puffy eyes and we're sharing some tips and how you can get the best result from using the natural remedies and also for just doing some little simple tips and trick to get you there to look amazing okay lemon zest olive vera gel potato parsley kiwi oil cucumber almond oil milk the good old milk or soy milk is good for your under eyes these are remedies that we have in a playlist that we list down below a new remedy we post yesterday for dark under eye circles really 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 good if you don't have parsley someone asked recently go ahead and use some cilantro cilantro also contains the same kind of uh of, of of vitamins like the the parsley basil is also good okay basil don't have the amount of vitamin k that the parsley have but it do have vitamin k and you can also use the basil to replace the parsley we're taking some questions and then we are moving on so um juliana message uh, I massage it every night before going to bed and that is the key go ahead and use it before going to bed now um I have cleansing pot with alcohol what would you use to um, compensate for the alcohol you do not need the alcohol in the cleansing pad the alcohol is gonna is drying is very drying so you need cleansing pad with no alcohol and that's what you got to read the label when you get your cleansing first of all let's be clear the cleansing pads with alcohol um is normal most cleansing pads you're gonna find with alcohol what does the alcohol does it clear clear the last trace of dirt 
on the skin. If you're using an estrogen, estrogen of alcohol, and that's what is in the cleansing pads. Those cleansing pads are similar to estrogen because alcohol helps to clean the skin fast too. And it is very effective, but it is drying, okay? So what you can do, what you can finish it out because it's not gonna really do anything bad to your skin, to be honest, or you can choose to add a little bit of a rose water to that cleansing pad to kind of soften down. And you can actually open the little flap and pour that rose water in it and seal it back. I used to do that. That is why I'm sharing. But use it up. But whenever you're going to buy cleansing pads, make sure to look for the one without alcohol, okay? And then you can actually use that right up under your eyes. Very, 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 very good um, question. What properties are in soil milk that is good for the skin? All right. All right. Don't let me start now. Vitamin A. Okay. Vitamin A is like a lot of vitamin A is in soy milk. And nowadays, if I could tell that you're a little new to the channel because you know everything about soy milk. Nowadays, you're going to find a lot of your beauty products with soy milk because of the vitamins. It has vitamin A, which reduce wrinkles and fine lines. It also contains vitamin D. It also contains vitamin C. And it also contains vitamin E. I love the soy milk for the vitamin A. Reduce the wrinkles and fine lines, boost the collagen production, and the vitamin A, as you know, is basically retinol do your research and you'll see you know what i'm saying is really really out there so definitely the vitamin a and also note that if you're going to use the soy milk that you probably buy in the store some of them is even an enhanced with calcium all right so go and do the research but definitely soy milk is right out there and as i said if you watch my channel a while you would have known that you're now going to find a lot of beauty products that contain soy milk and they're going to be labeling them anti-aging beauty products because of the very vitamin a in the soy milk hi lana nurse welcome welcome and um i just I, I just heard that using the parsley before going to bed is the key i was using it in the morning using it in the evening is better now be let's face this let's be honest most beauty products most beauty products is best used in the evening and the reason for that is you need at least 30 minutes for any beauty products to work on the skin you need at least 30 minutes apart from cleansing your face meaning washing your face any beauty product you use you need at least 30 minutes on the skin and you also don't need to mix it with other products that might not be friendly to some products not all products works together well okay you have layering when you layer your skin you always use a group of products that can work together when you are using products in the daytime most products are not good when it's you are exposed to the sun you also have things from the environment falling on your face you're sweating and the pores are open and everything is combined when you go to sleep at night you are resting and the beauty products is gonna last on your skin longer okay longer with you at rest and that is why most beauty products worse work best at night on the skin so definitely if you're using the parsley you're going to get the best result from using it at night yes you can use it in the daytime yes you can use it in the morning but it's going to stay longer on your skin if you use it at night very 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 good question how to get rid of crow's feet the 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 my facial massage that we just shared is really good for crow's feet. I, I can monitor my camera sometime, but when you do that dabba dabba dabba, take it all the way up. As a matter of fact, right where your brow line is, right right there, the brow line, make that V come all the way to the cheekbones. That is where you get that crow's feet. When you are massaging your face, and you're starting from all the way down here pull it up all the way uh it's a little awkward because i'm trying to use a camera all right let me not use a camera and just use my mind okay so you're just pulling it all the way up to your ear temple like that and then when you do the daba 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 you dab it all the way up all the way up and that is gonna help and whenever you use your remedy for your under eyes most time you get remedies 
or if you buy something it's gonna be just under your eyes like this my trick to that is to take it all the way up all the way up even if you have to use two the very thing that you use for your under eyes you use it all the way up there just like that i need to develop something where it's a, a pad that go all the way up here because you're going to get the same benefit for the crow's feet and make sure to cleanse and massage the massaging works like a charm a good anti-aging oil on your fingertip and massage daba 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 will work for you very 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 good give it a try use it for a week or two and come back and i guarantee when you come back you're gonna be like oh my goodness the massaging thing really worked it works i give good advice because most of these things that i share is what i am using i'm at a stage of my life where i am trying to look younger for longer so whatever i discover or whatever i research and whatever i try that is what i share with you all so i'm not just giving you things and second guessing i am living proof of all these anti-aging remedies because that's what i'm doing right now trying to prevent and trying to keep myself looking younger for longer all right so my time is up and i actually i'm back in the mood back in the mojo of doing our live show i honestly miss the live if you're watching you're a regular oh, okay guys we have been receiving the emails we are receiving a host of emails what happened to the live show what happened to the show so now you know we're back i know some people are not going to be totally satisfied with once a week for now but honestly guys i'm very very busy okay i'm very very busy and it's just one of me so i have to be doing other things and i have to try to get the live in the live show do take a lot of time and when i have the time i bring on the show i bring on the show but when i'm a little busy then i kind of cut back but definitely i love the weekday show i love the weekday show i wish i could continue to do it every day because i love it okay but time is not allowing me to do it every day so for the month of june we're doing it once per week which is on a thursday every thursday at noon for july i might have a little extra time so i might kick that up to two days a week so let's sit with june for now come back on thursday for our live show at 12 noon and we're gonna have topics you want to be on the show send your information in so we could get the link out to you early what i'm gonna do i'm gonna post the topic pretty early i'm gonna post the topic in community and then when you go to community and you see it if you want to be and you're comfortable with that topic then you send the email over and then we could get the link out to you pretty early now we have our sunday show which is 4 30 p.m eastern standard time every sunday at 4 30 join us for sunday chit chat with chichi beauty and go and watch our daily video every day we post on the channel every day we also post on our website um run about every other day so check us out on the website chichibeauty.com and go on the channel page and watch our daily videos that's how you support the channel watch it comment and share that's what we ask watch comment and watch the entire video even if you watch half and you know you have to do something you let it run just just watch our videos and show, show some love to us thank you all for watching today and go watch the video we post this morning it is really good and watch out for the eye remedy eye cream that we have coming up in two days support support supports and your continuous support is appreciated be good to yourself love yourself and we'll see you next thursday with another in our series weekdays with chichi beauty have a good day night or afternoon be good to yourself and